Let's see how we can create a DevOps automation rule that will send out a select message every time there is an accepted change set in the repository. I also have uh, the better DevOps automation documentation opened and the incoming webhooks configuration page in my Slack account in case we need to consult with these pages. But we are starting with automation for Jira. So let's go ahead and create a new rule. From the uh, trigger category, select DevOps, which will give you all the available DevOps automation triggers that better DevOps automation offers at this point. Let's select change set accepted. Before you save it, you have all the, the list of smart values that you can use in your automation action. It means that these placeholders will be replaced with the actual values when the rule runs. Okay, go ahead and save it. As I mentioned, conditions are completely optional, but there are cases when you want to narrow down your automation rule and make sure that it only runs when certain conditions are met. We are creating a Slack message automation rule here, so we want to make sure that a Slack message is only sent out when there are actual code changes in the repository. And since it's possible to create a change in the repository without changing code, for example, creating a new branch or a new tag, we want to make sure that we only send out a Slack message when there are code changes. Go ahead, select the condition and select the advanced compare condition. To know the value that should be compared, and just look up um, the configuration guide in the documentation, and you will find that this is the smart value that you want to copy over into your rule. This will basically give you the um, the number of commits that are accepted within this change set. And you want to send the condition does not equal zero. So the commits are actually there in the commit in the change set. Save it and add a new action. Find the Slack related built in action, which is send Slack message. And this is the place where you want to configure your webhook URL. If you don't know where to start, we have a deep link into your Slack accounts webhook configuration page. So just click that to get started. I already have one configured, so I can just go in and copy the URL from here. All right, we've done that. As a Slack message body, we also have a ready-made prepared script for you that you can just go in and copy with this quick one-click copy button and paste it over to your rule. This will just work out of the box. You don't need to change anything in this. It gives all the important information about the commit and um, all the aspects that are important about the change set. And you can also see the smart values used here that I mentioned uh, a second ago, which will be replaced by the actual values when the rule will run. Okay, so save that as well. Give our automation rule a name and give it a try. Okay, so let's say I have some uh, changes in this repository prepared. Let's add everything and uh, quickly create a comment as a message. And I wanna, wanna mention the issue that I've been working on and add the message. Let's commit that and quickly push it to the server. Now hop over to Slack and see what happens. There we got the message with all the important information about the, um, the change set. Changed file, the mentioned issue, the comment message, and the branch, and the author of the change. For more DevOps automation options, watch the next tutorial video and find the link below to start your better DevOps automation trial for free. Don't miss our upcoming videos. Click the logo in the middle to subscribe to this channel for Midori updates and tutorials.